welcome to skunk work. Today we're going to be doing some CAD CAM here and we'll do a mill version 9, 9.1. So let's open up the file. And then we'll go to file, get, and we're going to do this thread roller, roller shaft pin. All right, so as you see here, this is what we're going to try to draw. And uh, this is the first time doing it on video here, so let's see how it comes out. All right, so first thing we do, we're going to start a new screen. So hit new. Are you sure you want to initialize? Yes. Okay, so we want to start out in our quadrant. So we hit our F9, and here's our quadrant. And we're going to start everything off the center, center of the quadrant here. And to do that, we're going to... Um, use our line so we're going to create a line horizontal origin and we just going to click it any length we to give it a, a number here on the bottom for a length but we just hit any number and then we're still going to hit origin touch the end point there and go out to the other end I'm going to hit horizontal origin, and there it is, and then double click. Now, these two lines are separate, so let's join them. So to do that, we're going to hit uh, modify, join. I want to touch that line and this line, and that's it, the join. Okay, now we got our horizontal, and now I want to get our vertical. So you do the same thing, create a line vertical from the origin. Click, double click, and then same thing when I click endpoint or origin, again, doesn't matter, double click. And now we're gonna go to uh, modify, join, and we're gonna touch that line and this line, now they're one. All right, now we have our sort of like a plus sign in the center quadrant okay so now we want to uh, create our part off the center here so our part is um, total thickness 590 so we're going to modify and it's not modify we're going to X form and where is it? Offset. And we're going to copy. And the distance to offset, well, 590. Now, MasterCAD does all the math for you. You don't have to do anything. Just type it in. Point 0.590 divide that by 2 equals 295. It does it all for you. So touch that line. Touch above it where you want the line to be. Touch the center, touch the below. Now from here to here is 590. And now we want our length here and here. So we are going to do the same thing. X form, offset. We're going to copy. And then the total length is three inches. So three divided by two, one and a half. Enter, hit OK. Now we touch this line. Touch it anywhere in this quadrant. Same thing with this. Touch it here, anywhere over here. Now, the distance between here and here is three inches, which is our total part. So you see all these lines. So we don't need these big lines anymore. So let's trim them. So when I hit Modify, Trim, Two Entities, and touch what you want to keep. I want to keep this line, and I want to keep this line. Touch what you want to keep. This line, this line, this, 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 and this. If I were to touch the bottom, it would have kept this one, not this one. All right, so there we go. 
Now, the distance between here and here should be three inches. So we hit analyze and touch this line. And down here, you see that it's three inches right there. Hopefully you can see it where my cursor is down here. And the height of this should be 590. So again, you see it down here in my cursor. Hopefully you can see it on the screen. It's 0.590. Okay. Now, now we have our part there. So now we need to have the center here. And that center has to be one inch. Well, we could go work from the ends here and here. So from here to here, it has to be 691. I'm looking at the blueprint on my little screen here. So we're going to do the same thing, modify X form, sorry, offset. And we're going to copy and we're going to move that point 691. And you can see right there how it screwed up. It's not correct. So just highlight it again and point, point 691. Enter. And I hit OK. So we're going to touch this line and always put the cursor on the direction that you want it. And same thing on this side because they're both typical. Okay. Now, we got that. Now we want to get the shaft part right here. So, what we're going to do is, um, again, we're going to offset. And that the shaft part here is 375. So, we're going to touch, we're going to take here 0.375, divide that by 2. Remember, you don't need a calculator. Touch there, touch there. Now, we're going to break this line here in two. So, we're going to um, modify, break two pieces, and we'll touch where we want to break it. Here and here. And here and here. Okay. So now we're going to trim two entities. And modify trim two entities. So we're going to keep this and this line here. But you see, I didn't break this one. So when I touch it, it's going to delete this line. So I'll just show you here to here. See how it uh, broke this line? So let me see if I did do undo. Yep. So let's uh, let's break that. Go back, break two pieces. I'm gonna break this one and this one. And I'm gonna break that and this. And you can tell if it's broken by touching it and it changes color. See the white? And this part is green. See that? That tells you, it verifies that it is broken. Okay, now I'm going to go back to modify trim two entities. I'm going to touch what we want to keep. So we want to keep this and this. And we want to keep this and this. And over here, we want to keep this and this and we want to keep this one and this one all right now the same thing here we got to break this line you can see how it's solid white if i was trim this it would uh maybe we could trim one entity and we trim that to that that to that there to there there to there now we just go back to trim two entities and it will cut this out here. So trim two entities, touch here and here, touch here and here, touch here and here, touch this and this. We need to do the same thing here. Touch where you want to keep. 
And there we go. Now, this diameter here is, and we go analyze, and we touch this entity. You can see down here is 375. That's what we wanted. And we touch this. Remember, it was 6.91 right here. Hope you can see that down there. 691. Okay. So there we have it. Here's our diameter, 3 8. Here's our length, 691. Here's our body, which is uh, 590. Now we're going to put a little radius here or fill it. It's called fill it. Fill it. Fill it. All right. So we're going to create next drag. Uh, here it is. Fill it. Radius. And let me just check my blueprint here on my on my left, on my, what do you call this thing? iPad. Okay, that fill is 63,000. So the, here you see, enter the fillet radius and we're gonna type in 0 0.0663. Enter. Now we're going to touch this and that, this and that. Touch this and that. You can see how easy it is. There's your fillet. Now, if you want to analyze that, you hit analyze, touch this, and it tells you down here, see the radius? Down here, radius, 63,000. All right. So now, we have that, that, and that. Okay, now let's see here. And we could do the next part, which would be the drafting. Or I don't know if you guys want to do the threads, you know, this video, how long can the video be? All right, so I'll show you some of the drafting. Let's get this red line out of here. I don't think we need that anymore. So then I go to um, um, delete this line, and then look at here. I delete that, 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 and this one. It looks like we delete a lot more, but that's not a problem. We just hit the, the undo. Well, you just see how mistakes happen. I don't know what happened there, but they're easy fix. Like I said, this is a training guy. You guys who do it, it's not gonna come out perfect the first time. So I know these two are correct. So we just hit create a line, horizontal, endpoint. Touch the endpoint there, touch the endpoint there. Double click. Now we touch there and we just extend it here. And then we go uh, back up, create, create a line vertical from the endpoint. We touch this endpoint and we go straight up, double click. Now we're going to create a fillet radius it's already programmed there 63,000 hit ok or double click touch uh, what you want to keep there and now we're going to trim that so we're going to modify trim two entities touch that and that and there we go now you hit analyze remember what that was And then this was um, 628, looking down here, and this is uh, 3 eighths. There we go. Now, this is not a line. Remember, F, F, um, F9? There it is. We delete this one. We don't need that anymore. There it is. 
there's the part. Now you hit F9 to find your quadrant, and there it is. Okay, so let's put some drafting dimensions in there. So we're going to hit Create, Drafting, Dimensions, now Horizontal. So we're going to touch this endpoint here and this endpoint there. Now you can see how big that font is. So we're going to hit um, up here on this screen here. Hopefully you can see it. We're going to hit um, box arrow A. Have the lines on the outside or you want on the inside. And we're going to hit H for the size. So that's right now the characters are 1-8. And we're here, adjust arrow hit tolerance height. So we're going to click yes. And we're going to use uh, 116.0625. Enter. Okay. Now you see that? And we are going to go back, hit dimensions, and then uh, angular. And we'll touch this radius. You can see that's not the one we want. So we go here circular. And there's our radius. Now, this diameter here, and that's a vertical line. So we hit vertical. Actually, we go back and hit create, drafting, dimension, vertical. And we're going to touch the endpoints. Touch the endpoint there, touch the endpoint there, and there we go. Three eighths. Now we need to know what the total length is, so that's a horizontal line. So we hit horizontal endpoints. I'm going to touch there and there, and there is our total overall length. Now we need this dimension here, so that's a horizontal, so we need to touch endpoint there, endpoint there. to have it like this so it shows you where the start of the radius is if you want to know what this little thing radius is it's 63,000 so there you go that's basically what it is and then if you want to put your description of what it is that's easy too so let's basically let's um Let's call this something. So when I go to create drafting notes, and we're going to use um, type in here what we want single note, and when I call it what name, and then semicolon. Space called R O L L E R roller pen. Then you can put it down here M A T E R I A L material semicolon. And material is going to be uh, three O three. Stainless steel. And, you know, and then once you're done, you hit OK. Now, again, look how big that is. Do you want it that big? Yes or no? So just hit H on your keyboard. And type in there the size 0 0.063. Enter. Now hit OK. And there you have it. And there's the name. Of course, you have to put whatever you want there. Fit to screen. And there you have it. It's that simple. Now, say if you wanted to, uh, if that was a flat piece of material, and you wanted to um, create G codes, well, basically all you have to do is... Uh, Two path, but I got all these dimensions here, so I got to delete them. But 
So let me see here. So I have to delete that, 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 and that. And create two path, contour, chain. And go there, done. Go to library, get a mill. We use anything, we use a three eighths. What is that, in mill, yes. And we set our twos, the offsets, length, and all this stuff. Speeds and fees and all that. Like I said, I wasn't gonna get in too much into it. And our retraction, stock, and all this stuff. I'm gonna go negative, negative uh, 0.5. Lead in and out. This is what a lot of you guys don't do. So I'm going to leave that in there. And then on the enter, you see, I'll go like 30 and here 90. That's on the entries. And then the same thing here, I'll probably go like 60 and uh, 90. And then hit OK. And then let's see. There it is. All right. And then uh, we go to operations. Hit verify. And you can see the path in there got fast. You can see the ML cutting right there. It's all done. And then, if you want to create your uh, G codes, you have to post it. And I haven't haven't uh, set up the post, so let's see if it does it. And then I don't want to save it. So, but once you save it, I don't want to save it because it'll clog up my my. Uh, my memory but like I said I wasn't going to get in too much in uh see here geometry basically there it is we do the back plot step now you gotta remember the radius was a 63 and I'm using a 3 8 end mill. So if I use a small end mill to go back in there. So there you go. That's how, that's how you, uh, you design and do a drawing in Mastercam. All right, leave a comment there. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I don't know if you guys are interested. Like I said, I want to go more detail in drawing because once you got the drawing done, the G codes, it's just a matter of uh, doing that, setting up your um, your um, parameters, your um, your posts, and the post is what uh, what machine you're using. See, using a uh, Boss Six or uh, Fidel or you know, a Mazak or a Kuma. So the machine, the G codes can be created to the machine. And you can see how many different posts are right here. Uh, so if you are wanting to make uh, G codes, like I said, this software does all that. Now, I understand that most of you just watching this, you know, you, you're not too thrilled about it because, you know, how can you learn? Well, like I said, if I get enough subscribers and enough people interested, then I can um, hook you guys up with the software because I own the software. And the version that I have for you guys is a, a student. It's a, a student one 
that uh, allows you to do everything except save your document. You can't save it. And that one would be this one. See uh, here, nine mil demo. But you can see it looks exactly the same. You could uh, do exactly what I just showed you. Uh, I'm trying to find rectangle here, two points. Then you hit F9. Can't find F9, there's F9. You see how it's not on the center quadrant. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff here you can learn. It's easy to do that. Uh, modif no, X form. Translate all entities. Done. Doing a rectangle. And, um, uh, Let's see here. Um, modify, drag all entities. Done. And we're going to move, move. And we're going to hold it this one. And then you move it here. See? Clear colors, hit enter. Now, you see, now we're on the quadrant. So there's a lot more learning you could do. Um, this is way easier than um, Fusion 360 or AutoCAD or those other ones, as you just saw me go through it, version 9 is quite easy. When you start getting to the Xs, it's a different ball game. But, if you guys are interested in getting the software, interested in learning, you're going to have to subscribe. I need a 1,000 subscribers, and I need 4,000 viewing hours. And that's so I to start earning some money off of YouTube because it takes a lot of time and work, even just setting up the camera for this. So it's up to you guys. You know, if you're interested in learning CAD CAM, like I said, if you get the software from me, you learn how to do this, you just start making parts for other people, earning money. You could uh, create your own G codes. If there's a demand to learn, hey, I want to learn G codes. Okay, then I'll show you how to set up the post and I'll show you how to create G codes. It's just a couple of clicks and that's all it is. Uh, this is my laptop and I want to keep this, uh, the memory kind of clean. And not, you know, crowding it up, you know how. So, it's up to you guys. If you see what you saw here, if it's something that interests you, and you want to do, you know, write on the comments. And then you got to hit that thumbs up that you like the video because that sets off the algorithms for you too. And it shows the video to other people. And more people that watch it, I have to get those thousand subscribers. I have to get those 4,000 viewing hours. So... The, the channel is called Skunk Works, and this is what I do here. I'm a 30-year journeyman, and uh, if you want to see me on camera, that's fine. I'll show my face. I've done it before, but I just wanted to show you, for those guys on Facebook that were interested in learning the CAD CAM system, um, basically, I have everything to set you up. You know, uh, books, see, Mastercam, 
And there's the, the mill training tutorial version nine. So I'm not like one of those other guys you see there, they just click, 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 and they don't explain what they're doing. You, you heard every single click that I made, every single line that I made in detail, description of what I was doing. And just by, you know, listening and watching, you could pick this up very easy. All right. Let me know if you're interested. Write in the comments. It's very important. Again, I got to say it again. If this interests you, if the software interests you, that alone should interest you because, you know, once you get the hang of it, you just start earning money by making parts, designs, G codes for other people, doing 3D, um, what do you call that? 3D uh, modeling with uh, plastic. I forget what it's called, but uh, even machining parts, even drawing parts, making parts. You know, uh, like I said, I, see this one, see how here. But there's a way around it. You can't save it, but you can print it. You can print. So, it's still, I'll show you. Here, see, hard copy. See, I don't have the printer set up. But you can print. All you have to do is add a printer here. See? So, it's not like you get it and then you can communicate with others. Yes, you can. You need to put a, save all the G codes in a piece of paper, print it out, and give it to your customer. And then if he complains, give it to me in a file, you say, hey, I'm going to charge you more. And guess what? He's going to say, okay, I'll take the paperwork. All right, that's how you get them to take the paper and not a file. Say, uh, you want a file? It's going to cost you $100 more. And you think he's going to do it? No. So, all right. Let me know. Again, you need to subscribe. You need to hit that thumbs up that you like the video. You need to tell your friends. Tell everybody in your Facebook account. Because I need a 1,000 viewers, 4,000 viewing hours. And you guys can do all this and make money. All right. Have a good day.